Hello and welcome to Blytheway Business News, where today we're joined by Steve Curtis, Chief Executive of Caledonia Mining. Regular viewers will know that Caledonia is listed in London on the AIM market and also on the New York Stock Exchange. In London, the company has a market capitalization of £112 million. The company operates the Blanket Gold Mine in Zimbabwe, where it produces gold and pays dividends. Steve, welcome back on the program. Now, we're here because today, uh, 28th of July, you've published your inaugural ESG report, Environmental Social Governance Report, the three letters which are now the holy grail of mining companies. You've published the first one today. Can you give us a quick overview on how the ESG initiatives fit into the overall strategy of the company? Certainly, Tim, thank you for having us again. Um, Tim, you're right, uh, ESG is, is the hot topic at the moment, but you know, it's nothing new for us. Uh, and that's what's actually made the preparation and the publication of this first report possible. Um, we recognize that stakeholders are very interested to understand what companies are doing, and especially mining companies in our space, if you're looking to, to get some dollars from them, um, and, and now to formally talk about it and not, uh, you not sort of hide it under a bushel. So overall strategy, um, NYSE listed, AIM listed, you govern by a set of rules and we've op always operated by very high levels of governance. Uh, the environment is critical to us. If you destroy the environment, you're not going to be very welcome in the, in the world and the country that you're operating in. Um, and social, you you can't you can't operate a business successfully if you're not cognizant of who you impact, who you can help, um, and and where where your labour force comes from. So it fits in perfectly, Tim. We've got we've got the pillars uh, as I've as I've said the 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 governance, the health, the safety, our people, and then the communities around us, and then the environment. So yeah. First time to put it down formally in writing, but we're very excited. So there you are being a good corporate citizenship, ensuring you've got this size, social license to operate. I know the report is uh, on the company website, so viewers can go and find it on the Caledonia website, but just give us a quick sense. What are the highlights? What are the things you're proud about in this report? Well, if you read the report, um, what we're proud about is we're reporting what we have been doing for quite some time. Um, so, so although we operate a small gold mine in Zimbabwe, which might not have the best reputation, Caledonia can stand very proud and say, you know, we can we can address all the topics. What it has focused our minds on, though, is that. We need to formalize some of the systems around collecting data. And if you collect data and you measure data, then you can do something about it. You can improve it or you know where, where you've got problems. So what, what, we, what we're proud about is that uh, we've managed to get the first report out. We're not able to report to international standards like GRI right now, um, but those are some of the, 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 the targets that we will work on. Um, it is it is very very encouraging to know that uh, blanket in its own little way has been practicing these principles and now we can honestly talk about them and year on year on year we will be able to to show our development our maturity and um, it's 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 all about it's all about being a good citizen in the sector that we operate in well, as you said there, Steve, you've done the inaugural one, you've done the first ESG report, which probably in many ways is the um, the hardest one to write. Um, you talked about systems um, and the things you are going to put in place. So over the next 12 months, as you get ready for Caledonia's next ESG report, what are the kind of things you're going to be looking at? Tim, um, obviously we've got a solar farm coming up. So that environmental impact is very, very important to us. So, so we will be focusing, we'll be focusing on the environment. Uh, we're going to be building uh, probably a new tailings facility next year. 
Um, we'll start building the new tailings facility. So that's, again, very, very important from an environmental perspective. And it is, it is a current hot topic as well for, for the mining space. Um, our people uh, on the mine and then the communities outside of the mine, who knows where we're going to be in terms of this pandemic uh, this time next year. Uh, but as we sit today, we have got to be considerate about our people, their safety and their health, and then all the communities around us. How do we impact on them in a pandemic environment and how do they impact upon us? Um, so, so, you know, there's so many things that are ancillary to the mining space uh, that we have to consider at the moment. And again, this ESG report focuses us. It has also got it has also got an enormous backing of our board of directors, and uh, we did announce uh, a month or so ago that we'd appointed a new NED, uh, Geralda Volzach, and she she is a specialist in this area. And um, you know, this is we're not paying lip service to this at all. We're not doing a box ticking exercise. So we've got a professional on our board to guide us. Uh, who knows more about uh, uh, how to achieve targets and goals. And um, yeah, we, we're, we're going to spend time, effort and money, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, we're going to make a success of this. Okay, so we've been talking about uh, Caledonia being a good corporate citizen, uh, and you've explained how that's happening very, very well at the local level. How, how are the relationships at national government? How, how, how are you getting on there? Well, uh, as ever, we work hard on our relationships with, with the government. Uh, we, we have a lot of communication. Uh, there are some aspects about our business that we would like to change. Um, but what, what's very good is that the government has announced some new incentives just recently that enables a company like uh, Blanket Mine to, to access um, additional US dollar revenues uh, by by in increasing gold production, which Blanket is going to do because we're ramping up to 80,000 ounces, uh, by taking an opportunity to list on the Victoria Falls uh, Stock Exchange, which is a US dollar-based stock exchange, and that entitles a company like Caledonia to uh, access 100% of US dollar revenues on the incremental gold production. Now, that's a big step in the right direction. It is something that we've we've been talking to the government about for a long time, about having full control over our revenues. Now we're going to have control over our incremental revenues, and I hope it's a step in the direction where they can see that uh, you know we we can we can be trusted to export our gold, bring the dollars back into the country, use those dollars successfully to to invest and and build again. So our relations with the, with the government are as good as they ever have been. Um, we're continuing to look for new opportunities inside of the country. And I must say, again, in terms of the ESG project, we've had nothing but cooperation and support in, um, in facilitating getting the necessary licenses, getting materials imported into the country. Um, so uh, I think what we see is the government is as excited uh, for us to be successful in this, in this project as, again, it takes some strain off their grid. Steve, thank you for all of that. Before we let you go, must ask you though quickly, what can we expect in terms of, let's get back to, uh, back to the mining. Uh, what can we expect to be coming out of Caledonia in the next few months in terms of operations at the Blanket Mine? Well, we've just announced a very successful second quarter of production. Uh, we are targeting now to start ramping up to the run rate that will get us 80,000 ounces uh, in 2022. So we are working very hard to have an even better third quarter and therefore a better fourth quarter. So we should have two good quarters of, uh, of gold production. And uh, that's not, not going to be easy because it will be higher volumes and blanket as ever produced. Uh, the, the new central shaft is, uh, is working well and we'll be able to demonstrate that with production updates. Um, and obviously, if we, if we have much better uh, uh, the production results, the financial results, because Blanket has been a very, always been a very successful low cost producer, should speak for themselves. And uh, every quarter we're declaring dividends. There's one about to be paid at the end of July. 
Um, so in a, in a number of months, we'll be considering the third dividend for the year. And um, uh, we have been successful in increasing our dividends for, I think it's six quarters in a row now. So there'll be, there'll be some good production information. There'll be some good financial information. And as ever, what's important to shareholders a return. So another dividend to look out for. Thanks, Steve. Always good to have you with us. That was Steve Curtis, Chief Executive of Caledonia Mining, uh, talking to us today about their first their inaugural ESG report. Uh, the ESG report can be found on the Caledonia website. Uh, that's it from Blytheway Business News for this edition. Thanks for watching.